everyone, this is Rochelle, and today I want to bring you guys a super quick, hopefully, video encompassing everything that I have learned about the crochet braiding situation. I'm trying to get you right for the holidays. A lot of you said you want to get this for Thanksgiving and for um, Christmas and possibly New Year, so hopefully this will help you. I get so many comments, and a lot of the questions are repeated. I do answer them, but I'm just going to put it all in one video, so hopefully this will help you. Hope the hair isn't distracting you guys too much. I know it's in my face, but guys, I, my face is actually swollen yeah i'm trying a new skincare line anyway i have a video up on that soon i have a little handy dandy notebook here that's going to help me try to stay focused okay so here we go okay first of all what hair did i use I used two brands of hair the first video um that you guys saw when i had the blonde in the front was the cuban twist hair the color in the front of that first video the blonde color i believe it's t27 but for the unit I made, I used the fingercomber.com Havana twist hair. And I do still have some of that left because I didn't have to use as much. And this is what it looks like here. The difference between the hair, the finger comber Havana twist hair, in my opinion, is a little bit softer. And I found that you don't need as much hair with that hair. The other difference is the Havana twist hair is a little bit more pricey, but like I said, you don't need as much. So if you, you know, you're on a budget, you know, you can definitely rock with the Cuban twist hair. It's just a little bit more coarser, okay? It's not like a huge difference but you can tell. How do I make the hair softer? I tried the conditioners and the leave-ins and all of that combing it through, okay? Mm -mm. Didn't work that well for me. What I wind up using was shea butter, okay? So after I would comb out the hair before I rolled it, comb it out really, really well, I would take a little bit of the shea butter and let the warmth from my fingers kind of melt it and smooth it all the way down the hair, comb it again, and then wrap it. How long was the hair? The Cuban Twist hair comes in a 16 inch and in a 12 inch. What I had installed with the blonde in the front was a 12 inch. Finger comb my hair, I believe that was the same situation. I believe it was 12 inches. It doesn't say on the pack, but I, it was the same situation. I think it was 12 inches as well. My braid pattern, it was very simple. All I did, my hair is very, very, I want to show you my hair here. It's fine. It's very, very soft and fine. So I just did eight braids, eight corn rolls going all the way back, and then I combined the ends and sewed it down. I do recommend that you maybe start do your eight braids, like start this way, but then at the crown area, um, connect them. That way you don't see just scalp going all the way down. And a lot of different braiding patterns. If you have thicker hair, you definitely want to probably want to have maybe a few more braids because you want it to be as flat as it can be. I felt like it made a difference. I braid underhanded. I can braid overhanded too, but I braid underhanded or a French braid. And I felt like that also may have helped the hair lay a little bit flatter too. Just test a couple of braids out and then crochet it in and see. Okay, before you get started. How long did it take me? It took me about four hours. The hardest part for me was braiding my hair. I do suggest trying this on stretched hair, unless you're just really, really good at braiding. But I can't be pulling and popping. My, like I said, my hair just break. So I can't do it like that. I needed it to be smooth already. So I had to either stretch it or either blow dry it. So that may cut down on your install time. Okay, a lot of you asked about blow drying because I didn't mention that I did that. Yeah, you can blow dry the hair. <laughs> you definitely can um, on a low heat setting. I have a blow dry like this. I have the other one too, with the, you know, the other shaped one. But um, this is the kind I use with the comb. Um, you know this kind. I just started at the ends and blow dried it all the way up and it definitely will straighten. I do not at all recommend you getting curlers like hot curlers. The curlers that I spoke of, okay, I just don't want you messing your hair up. The curlers I spoke of were like the hot rollers, okay? So these, the Conair hot rollers. All right, this is what I used. It took about 20 minutes, so I rolled it all up, the smaller ones, and then left it in for about 20 minutes and did the rest of them. That's how I got the bigger curls in the front of my crochet unit, okay? So please do not get your curls to try. It's just gonna melt. I attract it. <laughs> it's just gonna melt all the way down. It's gonna be a straight line of plastic, okay? And trust me, don't mess your hair up like that. That's not what you need to be doing. How did I sleep with it? In the beginning, I pineapple okay so you know just pineapple it and then tie a scarf i don't recommend that now i learned um that when at least with the cuban twist hair because that hair was like velcro it just like i said it was great for the senegalese twists okay great for the havana twists stuff like that because of that locking feature it kind of wanted to just lock against itself so I noticed that when I um, would pineapple it, it wanted to kind of stay together. So I, I stopped doing it that way. I just um, put a regular silk bonnet, you know the regular, you know these, the regular kind, okay? And I just tuck the ends under. If you don't have one of these, just get you a nice silk scarf and loosely tie it. You know, like just let it kind of fall on there and leave some overage at the bottom and then kind of tie it up under, if that makes sense. Just take it out, you know, take it off in the morning and shake it and you're good to go. 
as far as sheen and stuff like that, did I put oil and stuff on the hair? No, I didn't. I didn't do anything like that. Um, I guess you could try oil sheen. I feel like that would just make it build up and get greasy. I don't know. I didn't try. I didn't do anything like that. What I did find that helped the sheen, and I really didn't want it. Like I like it to look low luster that way it matched. But the more heat you use, the shinier it's going to get. And how do you cover the knots? Okay, now there's a lot of different ways you can cover it. If you want, really, you can have leave out if you want and cover it. Okay, I didn't find that to be necessary at all. Um, all I did was, I, like I said, I took that one strand of hair and I separated it and I made the knots smaller. And a lot of you were asking about how I dipped the hair <laughs> and why I didn't just put it all in the bucket and boil it and then just take it out and use the curls. I didn't do it that way because, like I said in the other video, I noticed that all of the hair gets super shiny, including the, the, the um, midpoint where I'm going to create my knot. And if that's shiny, when my hair is not shiny, then you're really going to see that knot. You know, because it's tight and it's going to be shiny. I'll just twist it or, you know, curl the hair and I'll dip the hair, but I'll keep an inch or so out of the water. All right, so however you want to do it, you can pre-dip like that too, but just don't let that knot, or like a half an inch or an inch or so, don't let that get in the water. That way it'll blend in nicely. Another way your knots are going to blend is over time. Over time, it gets, I mean, not fuzzy, but I guess, you know, a little fuzzy, and it just kind of covers itself, okay? So it seems like you're concerned, really, about how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do this, but it's easy. Just, just start, and you'll kind of see what I'm saying. If you're really self-conscious about it, don't worry about it. Just leave, leave out. And if you decide that, hey, I don't want the leave out, just braid it back and then put the crochet over top. Okay, so, I mean, this is flexible. There's a lot of different, this is you doing this. So there are a lot of different things that you can try here. So you're not stuck with one option. Can you weigh your hair back? You absolutely can weigh your hair back. Um, like I said, make sure that the knots are as small as they can be and make sure they're not shiny. I've made videos with my hair in a ponytail. I kind of have a messy ponytail so you can't see the knot. Now if you want something slicked back, I suggest you have some leave out. So yeah, you can do it, um, but you need some leave out or if you want to slick, slick back, you can just add you a little um, a headband or something like that. The difference between Marley hair and the finger comb hair and the Cuban twist hair. Marley hair is a lot shinier and softer than the Cuban twist and the finger comber uh, headband and twist hair. The finger comber hair is softer than the Cuban twist hair, okay? But the Cuban twist hair and the finger comber hair both have that realistic look, okay? But both of the textures are not Consider soft. It's not like unmanageable. It's not scratchy or anything like that. But okay, I just want to make sure that you understand that it can be soft and like I said, um, you know, using I use shea butter and I found that to work just fine. But if you're looking for like soft hair and you're really concerned about that, then those two products are not what you need. Like I said, you might want to just stick with the Marley hair and see how that works for you. How long does it last? Well, for me, um, the crochet braids lasted for a month. Can you wash the hair? I don't know that I would wash the hair at all. I, I don't recommend that. <laughs> I feel like because your scalp is exposed, you could easily like get you a little um, spout bottle, do you know what I mean? Like a coloring bottle, put some shampoo in there, maybe some scalp treatment, some little tea tree oil, something like that. Shake it up with some water and just part your hair and hold on to like one piece and just hit the scalp. Lightly massage your scalp and then part the, the next piece, the next row, and do the same thing, and then refill it with water, rinse it, you know, same thing, then conditioner, if that's what you want to do, and then go ahead and oil your scalp. So, but I didn't do that, I didn't have any issues with dandruff or anything like that. I do have a video coming up about that specifically. I use this, and this is called Sulfur 8 Medicated Anti-Dandruff Conditioner. If you have dandruff, I'm gonna talk about this in a whole other video, but this is what I use to just make sure I didn't have any itches or flakies or anything like that. So I do recommend, you know, spraying your scalp with this or some type of moisturizer, uh, at least twice a week, kind of work it in, um, just to make sure that your hair is staying moisturized. Which rods did I use? I used the white rods that I got from Salas. I will insert a picture, I spoke to you about that. But you can also braid it and dip it in the hot water. You can twist it, put rods on the end, dip it in hot water, it's really, really cute. Um, I also use, like I said, my hot rollers, okay? These, so I also use those. So it just totally depends on what you want. I can't, I can't do this hair in my face. If you, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but my, like I said, my face is swollen kind of trying to distract you from, but it's okay. Did I have to recurl the hair? I did, um, but it, it, I just wanted it to look neat over and over. So yeah, I would take it and I would comb it at the ends, 
okay, just comb it at the ends, comb through, and then I didn't reapply the shea butter. Um, then I'd roll it, and then I'd dip it again. Yeah, just start, kind of like a spot treatment, but not really the whole head. If you use hot enough water, um, it'll be just fine. Those curls won't go anywhere, but like I said, sometimes at the end, you might just want to clean it up, so I just, you know, take a little wide, a small tooth comb, I said wide, small tooth comb, clean it up, and dip it again. It was hot, but it wasn't like scorching hot water, okay? And I felt like it gave me more of a natural curl. The hotter the water is, the more shiny your hair is going to be, and the tighter your curl is going to be. And I just, I didn't want that. Did I just use the hair straight out of the pack? No. I would take the hair, um, that one little piece that I had, this is a split piece, but I would take the hair and I would comb it first, okay, comb it first, and then I would pull it a little bit. It's gonna shed a little bit, but that's fine. Then I would pull it, pull it a little bit um, just to make sure um, that the ends had that natural look, like a tapered toward the end. I found with the Cuban twist hair, I didn't have to do that. It kind of already came uh, tapered, so I just had to comb through. Okay guys, I had to come back because I realized there's one major one that I did not speak on, and that's how do you remove this hair? Someone said, you know, I got a couple comments where it seems like it will just be the hellish trying to remove it, it simply is not. It is quite easy to remove it, <laughs> okay? So imagine, walk with me, okay? Again, here's my braid, and here is my hair crocheted on, right? And it's a knot, right? So you're wondering how to get this hair out. It's very simple. You just take you some scissors and cut it. <laughs> and then you'll have that teeny little piece of hair sticking out and just pull it, it comes straight out. It is super simple. Okay, let's talk about the wig situation. I actually have a full tutorial on how I make the wig. So I feel like everything you need is in that video. So I'm gonna link that somewhere, either in this video or below. So I do suggest you check that out. Most frequently asked question about the crochet wig tutorial was how did I put it on? And it's got, you just put it on. <laughs> it's really simple. I think you were concerned with, I don't know whether you thought the front area was the wig, but no, it's not. My hair was just in a ponytail. And I put the unit on and I set it maybe about an inch or so off of my hairline. That's it. And then a lot of you were like, well, how are you concealing it? Well, um, <laughs> the wig cap itself was black, so you can barely see it. And then you just kind of situate the curl so that you can't see it. And like I said, I had it down in the front, um, which was the most believable look. So you don't see any of it at all. So that's all I did. I didn't, you know, I didn't have a leave out. But if that's what you prefer, you certainly can have a leave out and then just maybe um, bantu knot it or you can use the um, those flexi rollers, you know, the long ones, I have them. And then wrap your hair around it like that and then bend it. And I feel like that'll give you the same type of curl. And no, I didn't just leave the net on like that, I bobby pinned it. You can definitely get you some wig combs and sew those in. But I didn't do that, I just bobby pinned it and it was just fine. Got a couple of questions on parting with that unit. Now it's not like a you part or anything like that. I mean, it's just a wig, <laughs> really. I just, you know what I'm saying? It's just a wig. I imagine that you could create yourself a you part with that. Um, yeah, I think you could. Like I said, you could have your little leave out or whatever, and then right alongside the leave out. This seems a little complicated, but I'm, I'm just foreseeing. I think you could do this. Maybe you could just braid, like here's your, I, I can't, guys, I don't have it ready. I can't do this, okay? So here's your leave out hair, right? I feel like you can just make a braid on the outside of the perimeter of your leave out, on the sides, okay? And then just braid it all the way back. And crochet the hair into the net. Is that making sense? Okay, so you could just take it where you've cut the net and where that braid is, so you're actually crocheting your hair and the net. Does that make sense? So I feel like you could do that and then you could, um, you know, have your leave out. Hey okay, guys, that's it. I don't know what else I could possibly say about this crochet braid situation other than I love it. Um, and it's an awesome protective style. I, I do recommend it. Like I said, the, the natural textured hair that I have been exposed to were those two brands, okay? The Cuban Twist and the Finger Coma hair. Um, and the, you know, the regular, you know, uh, Marley braid hair is fine too, like I said. Just didn't match my texture, my um, luster. It was a little bit too shiny for me, but it's a lot softer than those two. Other than that, I think that's everything that I can tell you guys. Um, if there's anything I missed, let me know. But I, I, I made this big book. I think I hit everything. Really just take your time. Don't do If you're in a rush, don't do this. 
Don't do this, okay? Take your time. I suggest doing this over a weekend or something. Just, you know, in your house, chilling. You don't have nowhere to go. Um, I found it to be, like I said, a great protective style, great style and options. It's very versatile. I even did it one day. Like, I had my hair right. You know my hair's real fine. So, I just took... <laughs> I took some hair, I just made a little braid in my little fine area on my scalp, like everything was out. And then I just crocheted a couple of pieces in the back just to fill it in. Okay? And those little, those little fine areas that are just having trouble growing back there, you know, they were protected. And I just had to the hair crocheted in. You could make a little net, you know, and then sew it around some perimeter braids and crochet like if you have thinning at the top. There are so many different things you could do. So you can kind of make your little track situation. That's a lot. Just try it. Just try it. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I hope I answered all the questions that you guys had asked. Um, if I miss anything, just let me know. But okay, now I'm going to go make my Thanksgiving dinner. The questions, comments, and concerns, leave them below. Hopefully this was helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.